I think that the topic of, you know, what games to play has been a topic that I've thought about a lot. And I think it's one that resonates with a lot of other people, too. Like, there's just this tendency to feel like you want to play a bunch of different things and then you can't find the time to get to them or maybe you just can't figure out which one's the best to pick and i know that's especially a problem for those of us who like mmos because they tend to be rather heavy time commitments but i've been thinking about this for a while and lately it really hasn't bothered me so much and i've been playing a lot more different games actually I've been playing probably most of them a bit less and you know i just what i find is that if I don't worry too much about what I'm going to do and I just do what I want to do, then I wind up having a perfectly good time. You know, most games, if you wanted to play them for a little bit and then just be done, like, that's all right. You know, let's say you play a game like Age of Empires and it's a multiplayer game and you don't do very well. Well, does that, does that mean you can't have fun? You can't play the game? It really doesn't. What if you do play a MMO and you only jump into it once in a while? It's really not a big deal. Or city builders or other games, just, you just have them in your library and you think, man, that's so cool, I want to play that. You really don't have to choose between them. You just play one. When you kind of get that feeling of, you know, I think that sounds really cool. I want to jump in that for a while. And if anything, I think having a lot of different things that are kind of on the list and you switch back and forth and you toggle through them, it adds diversity. So you don't actually ever really burn out on any one of them. And I think in life, we kind of tend to maybe have this feeling that we need to um, we need to pick one thing and then go whole hog into it and then we start to get frustrated because it's just too much, you know? But whenever you let go of that feeling that you need to complete something, then you just be present in it when you are doing it, you know? That's really all there is to it. It's not so much that you need to say, I'm going to create this enormous block of time and I'm just going to live and breathe one title until I get to the end. It's that if you are going to have some time and you are going to do something, then, then be present in it. Be mindful in it. And that's also true for things like reading books or really anything. Be mindful about what you're doing while you're doing it. But that doesn't mean that you should be obsessed with it all the time. And I, I still think that probably the biggest threat to my time winds up being things like scrolling Facebook or scrolling through Google News or whatever it might be that's just not really something I plan to do at all. Something that's just there and so it takes up my time and it's mindless and it's there and it's easy. But the things that are really fun, they wind up being those times when you make an occasion out of something. And I think gaming is about the same as watching movies or something. You don't need to binge watch all 
seven se seasons of something all at once just because you wanted to watch it. Like, you can take a break. It's all right. Um, doesn't mean you're a betraying the franchise or something if you take a break or if you just watch a bit for a while and then you wait and then you come back to it. I think that we waste a lot of time doing things that we don't really enjoy and that's the only reason why it is a waste of time. But if something seems like it's exciting and it's interesting then you might as well just have fun with it, you know? And that doesn't mean it has to take up your whole life. I think we overthink things quite a bit. We try to imply a certain sense of permanence, maybe, where there doesn't need to be one. Instead of just saying, am I present in the moment and am I truly enjoying what I'm doing, then we try to kind of figure out what the road map is. But really we should just enjoy enjoy the experience. Imagine if you were gonna just only watch Star Wars movies from now on. Like that's gonna really limit you. But you could always just say you're a Star Wars fan and you watch the movies once in a while. Or maybe you never watch them again because you did watch them and you don't need to watch them again. Anything when you try to make it into a lifestyle will start to be burdensome. And I think that's where we we go wrong. No matter how cool games are or jobs or any hobbies really, even life itself, we take it too seriously and want, want it to be more important, more impactful than it really is meant to be, then we set ourselves up for disappointment. You know, I saw a picture of the world as it's seen from space, and then in the second panel there was another picture that was identical also of the world seen from space, and the caption said, these are two pictures of the world before and after you were in it. And I thought that was kind of funny because, isn't it true? We spend our time being so obsessed with what we're doing, whether it's enough, we lose sight of the fact that ultimately we should enjoy our experience and we should just do things that bring joy into our lives. That's it. Because ultimately the world's going to look just about the same before we got here and after we're gone the only thing that really matters is that you spend your life in a way that's joyful and positive and uh, be open to sharing it with others in any case wherever you find yourself on your journey best of luck always till next time thank you for watching <laughs>